the morning is presented by First Commonwealth Bank here on AM 1160 WCCS and 101.1 FM. And he's Milt Lady, White Township Manager, joining us this morning. Milt, uh, briefly, let's uh, start with uh, some of the conversation topics from the supervisors' meeting last night where they were talking about the recreation complex, the S&T Bank Arena. Township took over that facility. How long ago was that? Well, we started uh, construction really back in uh, 96 97 mm-hmm. with moving dirt and that kind of thing um the the outside facilities uh we really started building the uh ball fields and all of that as far as fencing and things like that around 97 98 and we just kept adding a field every year or yeah. two depending on the grants we received and that kind of thing so um you know we took over the ice rink in 2005, so it's just been a yearly gradual process, mm-hmm. and all the facilities were pretty much m- m- built out by by mid 2000s. Yeah, and eventually everything has to be upgraded, updated, uh, and uh, wear and tear was the topic of last night of some of these facilities and the need to keep on top of them because I'm sure the supervisors and you, of course, as uh, you used to manage the S&T Bank Arena, I did. Uh, you know that. Uh, those things, if you if you keep them up to date now, and if you replace stuff now before it gets too too bad of a situation, you save yourself some money, and that was what they were talking about last night. Sure, yeah, and and you know the cosmetics and the wear and tear are definitely showing out there, but um, a lot of the things we've done over the last several years have been more energy efficiency type improvements. Mm-hmm. Um, we replaced the sand floor that was where the ice is. Uh, with a concrete floor so we could get more use out of the facility in the summer. Um, but really the reason was we had some uh, tubing issues with the sand floor. We had no choice either. Yeah. We had to make major repairs, and we decided to go the route of of a concrete floor. But that was a $300,000 investment at that time. Mm-hmm. Um, we've replaced all the lighting. They're all now LED lights in the are- both arenas. Um, so... That's a cost savings, a payback within two or three years. Yeah. Um, so we're seeing we're doing a lot of those kind of energy efficiency improvements, but it doesn't necessarily translate to cosmetic looks. Yeah. But um, today they're out there cleaning the carpets uh, in the lobby. Um, we have a professional company coming in and doing that. Um, we kind of do that after May, March because it gets a lot of traffic and mm-hmm. and the plants and the dirt that's dragged in. So. We're doing that. We're doing a a painting of the lobbies. Um, So we're really trying to make improvements. We've replaced all the carpets in the locker rooms with new rubber matting. Um, So um, I think we try to pick away at it as we can. Um, But but it's still, it's it's shown its age. I know the roof has some leaks in it. It's going to require a major impact. But there's energy improvements there that can be made with improved insulation, um, that's out there nowadays. So we're also looking at working with some energy suppliers that may be able to give us some incentives there also. Meanwhile, White Township continues with uh, the summertime project uh, season is here, isn't it? You've got it a, is you've construction got a bunch of, time. Yeah, yeah. like the borough here, they're getting all tore up with mm-hmm. street detours and all. And now you're working on St. Us. Clair Road? St. Clair Road was closed on Monday, and uh, the crews worked on replacing two crossover pipes, and the road was open back up by noontime mm-hmm. um but we're doing uh, we're getting that road ready for our seal coating project this summer we're doing a lot of uh patch paving and and uh, berming work out there uh that's scheduled for july 7th weather permitting mm-hmm. you've got some stormwater basins that need to be repaired yeah well. every every summer when we uh get ready for our our the new paving project we bring a contractor in to to do some new paving on roads um, we have to raise the stormwater basins up an inch or two, depending on uh, um, the level of the new pavement. Mm-hmm. And uh, that takes some work. Uh, some of the basins uh, that have fallen in disarray, we need to uh, repair, repair them. Sometimes we replace them with precast. A lot of the old ones were all brick, um, so they've deteriorated. So we... We put in new precast ones. So, yeah. And that's all being paid for out of that new stormwater fee. A lot of that work, those mm-hmm. pipe replacements and the basins, that's part of this ongoing effort to try to 
improve our stormwater infrastructure within the township. You've got some piping issues as well, and and some of that's pretty tricky stuff. It is. You don't know it. Sometimes you don't know until the sinkhole shows up, <laughs> uh, and that's not good. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, we try to camera them. That's an ongoing project. We have an intern in-house that's helping us do some inspection and mapping of the uh, the system. So, you know, that, that takes time and money and uh we're trying to get a handle on that so it doesn't hit us um, all, the, all at once. And sometimes you'll find unexpected things underneath there, like utility lines and, and things of that nature, and you have to work around those. We do, and uh, the utility lines uh, present other problems with excavation and all that. So we've done, we've, we're have we also working with contractors to do what they call a cured-in-place piping, mm-hmm. where they actually slip a sleeve into the pipe and then cure it with, steam or water, hot water and it, it just uh, forms in place and you don't have to go in there and dig up the pipe and and possibly other utilities um, so it's uh, it's not cheap but it does in the long run save some money by not having to move utilities and oh, all yeah. that so we got a, about four of those projects this summer that uh, we hope and also some of them for sewer lines are so deep that it becomes a safety concern that we can go in there and just do this cured in place piping rather than dig a twenty foot ditch that yeah. you're worried about walls sending, and sending caving a guy in. down in there. Yeah, yep. yeah. Milt Lady is with us, White Township Manager. We're talking about issues for the summertime. Um, a lot of folks want to know about the dog park. How's the dog park coming <laughs> along? Well, we, we've uh, the weather didn't cooperate. We did some excavation to get the uh, the trail up to the park. Uh, built and uh the rain kind of made it a little muddy to bring in a paver and lay down the sub base so uh hopefully with with the heat here and all that we and we're, when we get done with st Clair road uh we'll be moving over there to put the stone base down the fencing company was under the same problems with weather mm-hmm. uh they got delayed so hopefully they'll be coming in in a week or two to start the perimeter fencing yeah now you are the bids out for the other things the cosmetics the benches and, and all of we those approved things. that at the last night's meeting oh, okay. uh, for the receptacles and the, a water fountain and all that so uh, that's been awarded to a uh, uh, a supplier and uh, we'll be getting those in soon so as soon as we can get the fencing done we'll start putting the amenities in water fountain for people or for dogs for both there you go yeah certainly <laughs> and receptacles for both uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the dog needs to recharge its phone, too. It does. It's just the owners have to pick up that. There they don't go. know how to use the tr- trash receptacles yet. Getty Heights Park uh, is where the dog park is. And uh, and I right. know p- people are really excited to see this thing come. It's it's something that I know you've heard about uh, is, is something that the township really looks forward to. It is. We've had, uh, I mean, hats off to the uh, uh, anonymous uh, group that has provided half the funding for that project. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they've been talking with us and they're anxious to get it uh, started and, and have it being used. And, and even the public, we get calls wanting to know where they, when they can get their dog over there. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, it is open to dogs now. It's just they have to be on leashes. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. just they can't be running loose. This will change the way that that Yeah, works. we're excited to get that project done. Sure. Milt Lady is with us. Um, by the way, you mentioned the anonymous group that donated. The, the idea of donating to a township for a cause such as that or donating your time through volunteerism, that's really shown up in recent months, hasn't it? In recent weeks, even. Yes. Uh, we've had some groups that have helped out at our... Uh, rain garden that's built at the municipal office um, that was a rather large project we encountered and uh, uh, they've had uh, hats off to the summit church they were there last saturday with a mm-hmm. group to help do some weeding uh, the thistles kind of took over um, mm-hmm. we've been trying to get ahead of that uh, we've also had individuals our stormwater educational partnership group um, have been there so Anybody that likes to uh, do get outside and help with some weeding, let us know. Um, okay. We've got projects. <laughs> you got plenty of weeds. We got plenty of weeds. <laughs> uh, the blade, I'm sure, is out doing the mowing this summer. It is. He's uh, he's been out about every morning. Uh-huh. Um, so keep your uh, eyes out for uh, the the tractor that's on our township roads. Um, we're trying. We've had some calls. People wanting to. Uh, to uh, because of intersections where the high grass is and all that we're getting to it mm-hmm. we just have one tractor and one guy so it takes yeah. some time 
Yeah. Anything else folks need to know about coming soon that uh, will affect their travel or anything of that nature? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't think we have any planned closures. Um, Good. But just uh, just con- construction, so keep your eyes out in, the, in developments mostly where they'll be doing the stormwater basin work. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Todd. Same 1160 WCCS 101.1 FM.